Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a rectangular prism of base size 25 mm cross 40 mm and the axis length measuring 65 mm is resting on HP on its base with the longer side of the base which is inclined to VP at an angle of 30 degrees and also it is cut by a cutting plane which is inclined to HP at 40 degrees and is passing through the extreme left corner of the base. So we need to draw the development of the lateral surface of the remaining portion of the rectangular prism. So looking at the problem statement, we can arrive at a set of conclusions. The first thing is the type of the solid. So we have got a rectangular prism and the dimension is 25 cross 40 mm. Next is the initial resting condition. So on the base, on the HP in such a way that one of the longer side of the base is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. Next is the cutting plane. So we have got a cutting plane which is inclined to HP at an angle of 45 degrees and is also passing through the extreme left corner of the prism. Uh, with this data, let us see how to do the drafting. So first let us begin by constructing the initial position. So select a line of thickness 0.18 mm and draw a line and let this be the XY line. So now let us construct a line which is inclined to the VP at an angle of 30 degrees. So select the projection line of thickness 0.13 and then let us draw a line of any arbitrary length which is inclined to the VP at an angle of 30 degrees. So on this 30 degree line we need to construct the rectangle. So what we can do is we can go for the rectangle by center option. first create the rectangle so the longer edge is measuring 40 mm and the shorter edge is measuring 25 mm so now we are going to incline this at an angle of 30 degrees let us select this rectangle select the move option and then place this longer edge on this 30 degree line as stated in the problem statement so you can just see that the longer edge of the rectangular prism is resting with one of its longer edges on the 30 degree line. So we can do the annotation now. So this is the XY line. And these are the reference planes that is VP and HP. And let us annotate the rectangle. So this is A, A1. So A1 is the resting uh, face and uh, A is the top face which is visible to the observer in the top view. So this is B, B1 followed by C, C1 and then D, D1. Now let us draw the diagonals in order to get the center of this rectangular prism. So join the opposite corners. The point of intersection is the point where the axis line shall originate. And this point can be annotated as O01, where O is the axis point at the top face of the prism and O1 is the axis point of the bottom face of the prism. So now let us complete the front view by drawing the projection lines. So join the projection lines to intersect the XY line from each of the corners and then from this point that is the origin let us draw the axis line. So the axis is measuring 65 mm in length and then complete the front view. So this corner is C1 dash followed by C dash and this is D1 dash and this is D dash while this is O1 dash and this is O dash followed by B1 dash 
and b dash and this is a1 dash and a dash so these are the respective points in the front view so now we shall go for the cutting plane condition which states that the cutting plane is passing through the extreme left corner of the base that is from the corner a1 and also it tells that it is inclined to hp at an angle of 40 degrees so what we can do is we can select the line option of thickness 0.13 let us select uh, this axis line so from here let us try to construct a line inclined at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal plane and let that line pass through all the edges of the rectangular prism so now select a continuous line of thickness 0.50 mm and mark all the edges beneath the cutting plane because we need to do the development of the remaining portion of the prism So this completes the front view of the rectangular prism that is remaining after the cutting plane has intersected all the edges the top portion is chopped off and the remaining portion is the bottom portion of the rectangular prism so you can show the inclination also so the inclination of the cutting plane with respect to the hp is 40 degrees as per the problem statement so now we'll go for annotating the points so we have got the point one dash on the corner a one dash and similarly b one dash b dash is intersected by the cutting plane at the point two dash and next we have got the corner c so from c one to c dash that particular edge is intersected by the point three dash and then we have got this uh, that is d one dash and d dash which is denoted by the point four dash so these are the specific points in the front view similarly the corresponding points in the top view are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we do not have the cutting plane intersecting any edges that is like A, B or B, C or C, D. It is all lying on the rectangular edge lines. So that is why even in the front view we are going to mark all the points that is 1, 2, 3, 4 on the corner point itself. So now again let us go for the line option select the line of thickness 0 0.50 and then just retrace the rectangle because all the edges will be visible in the top view so this is how it is cut and it is visible in the top view in this manner so now we need to do the development of this lower half of the prism so for that we'll go for the line option of thickness 0 0.13 and then draw a line so on this line we are going to draw again a line measuring 65 mm that is the axis length and then we'll start with the smaller edge because ab is here uh, that is the smaller edge so that is equal to 25 and the next edge length will be equal to 40 mm so 40 similarly 25 followed by 40 mm again so we can just trim this line which is extra go for the smart dimension and then you can just show the measurement so this is 65 and the distance between these two lines will be equal to 130 which is the perimeter of the rectangular polygon so that is 40 into 2 plus 2 into 25 which is equal to 130 so here also we can show the dimensions so this is 25 and the longer edge is measuring 40 mm so now since all the points are lying on this corresponding edges we can just indicate those points by drawing the horizontal projection lines so before we do that let us annotate the rectangular faces so this is a1 and a followed by b1 and b next we have got c1 and c and then we have got d1 and d and back to a1 and a 
So this is the initial cut position of the rectangular prism. So now we are going to indicate the development. So for that, select the line option of thickness 0.13. So one dash is anyways on this uh, corner points that is on A1 here and here. So from two dash, let us intersect B1 and B. Similarly, three is on C1 and C and four is on D1 and D. So go for the annotation and label the points. So this is one and one here. And the point two is on B1, B. So this is the point two. Three is on C1, C and four is on D1, D. So now use a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and then connect all these points that is one, two. To summarize, we have got a rectangular prism with one of its longer edges inclined to the vertical plane at an angle of 30 degrees and then a cutting plane is passing through the extreme left corner of the rectangular prism that is through the corner A1 dash and is inclined to the HP at an angle of 40 degrees. So we need to first draw the cut section of the rectangular prism and transfer the points of intersection of the cutting plane on the respective edge lines to get the development. So with this we complete the development. Thank you all for watching.